Okay, hello everyone. In a new video, so on this one, we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage and resistors. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2019 first session, exercise number three. The title of this exercise: determination of the resistance of a resistor. The circuit represented in document three consists of. Uh -huh, they mentioned the document. Then now we can use it. A generator G maintaining across its terminals a constant voltage GPN is equal to 12 volts. So the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write the given voltage on the electric circuit itself or the electric uh, current. So this is 12 volt, the voltage of the battery. Now an ammeter A of negligible resistance, this is the ammeter. Three resistors R1, R2 and R3 of respective resistances, R1 is unknown. And R2 is equal to 50 ohms. And R3 is equal to 20 ohms. Now we denote by I the electric current in the main branch. By I1 the electric current flowing through R1. And by I2 the electric current flowing through R2. Uh, here I is the electric current in the main branch. So, because PA is a main branch, so it's being traversed by the electric current I. Now, notice that across R1, uh, this is not a main branch, which is traversed by the current I1. And across R2, this is not a main branch, it's traversed by a current I2. But notice that here, across B and BC, this is a main branch, so it's traversed by the electric current I. This is also a main branch, traversed by the electric current I. And this is also a main branch, traversed by electric current I. So this is, a, this is the electric current I, this is the electric current I, and this is reasonable because at the point A, the electric currents I and Y, I splits into two, into I1 and I2, and in the point, at the point B, I1 and I2 join back to give me the electric current I, so this is also I, and this is also I. They are telling me the circuit is closed, and the emitter A reads 0 0.2 amperes. Because the circuit is closed, so the battery will deliver electric, uh, uh, electric current to different electric components, and the ammeter reads 0 0.2 amperes. So here, uh, 0 0.2 amperes refers to which electric current? We have three electric currents, and they are given by I, I1, and I2. Notice that the ammeter is being traversed by the electric current I, so the value of I in this case is given by 0 0.2 amperes so this is the value of i and notice that in this case the reading of the ammeter is positive because the comp term is connected to the negative pole of the battery which is the point n now in number one they are telling me upa is equal to ubc is equal to zero volts why now across P and A we have a connecting wire and across B and C we have a connecting wire. Therefore UP is equal to UBC is equal to zero because the reason is given by the voltage. Across a connecting wire. Is zero. So UPA is equal to UBC is equal to zero. Now in number two they are telling me UMN is equal to zero. Why? Across M and N we have an ammeter and in the given they told me that the ammeter A is of negligible resistance. So the voltage across The ammeter is zero. Because it is of negligible. Resistance. So you am an. Is equal to zero. Now, in number three, they are telling me calculate by applying Ohm's law the value of the voltage, UCM. Uh, 
okay we know that the value of the electric current uh, traversing uh, the resistor r3 is given by 0.2 amperes and in the given we have the value of the resistance r3 therefore by applying ohms law we can determine the volume the applied voltage you see i'm across the resistor r3 then always in physics we need to mention the load that we are using then apply ohms law here to which electric component we are applying ohms law to the resistor r3 then uh, this law states that the voltage is equal to the resistance multiplied by the current we are calculating the voltage ucm across the resistor r3 traversed by the current i then r3 is equal to 20 multiplied by uh, 0 0.2 plugging this on the calculator will give us 0 0.16 sorry will give us 4 uh, since R is in uh, the SI which is ohms and I is in the SI which is amperes then the value of UCM will be in the SI which is volts so UCM is equal to 4 volts so I repeat the trick in solving such type of exercises to write the applied voltage and the traverse current on the electric circuit itself so UCM in this case is equal to 4 volts now a number for they are telling me show by applying law of addition of voltages that UAB is equal to what to 8 volts. Uh, they are telling me which law we should uh, uh, we should use which is given by law of addition of voltages. Then let's say apply law of addition of voltages. Then how do you apply this law? Always on the left we write the voltage of the battery which is given by UPN. And on the right we write the voltages across different electric components starting from P and ending with N. Then UPA plus UAB plus UBC plus UCM and UMN. Now the voltage that we are interested uh, in calculating it which is given by UAB. Now let's replace uh, all other voltages. UPN is equal to 12 given. UPA is equal to 0 justified. UAP we, give, uh, we keep it as a variable because we want to calculate it. Now UBC is equal to 4 calculated. And UCM. Sorry. UBC is equal to 0 because it's a connecting wire justified UCM 4 and UMN is 0 justified so 12 is equal to UAB plus 4 now this is a linear equation in one unknown the unknown is given by UAB so UAB is equal to 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8 since 12 is in volts and 4 is in volts, then the value of UAB will mean volts, which is 8 volts. So UAB is equal to 8 volt. Now let's place on the electric circuit that the voltage UAB is given by 8 volts. Now in number 5, they are telling me determine the electric current I2 flowing in R2. So we need, we need to determine the electric current I2 flowing in R2. Now we know that the applied voltage across R2 is given by 8 volts. And we, uh, we already know uh, the value of the resistance R2. So we can calculate the value of I2 using Ohm's law. Then apply Ohm's law. To which resistor to R2. And Ohm's law is given by that U is equal to R multiplied by I. Uh, constructing the triangle of this formula. Uh, here since we have multiply so U will be at the top R and I at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of I. Putting our hand over I. I will be given by 
u divided by r we are determining the electric current i2 that has an applied voltage given by uab across the resistor r2 the value of uab is given by 8 and the value of r2 is equal to 50 plugging this fraction on the calculator will give us 0 0.16 since u is in the si and r is, the, is in the si so the value of i will be in the si which is amperes then i2 in this case is equal to 0 0.16 amperes so let's label this electric current on the given electric circuit sorry i2 is equal to 0 0.16 amperes and now in number six they are telling me deduce the electric current flowing in r1 is i1 is equal to 0 0.04 amperes and the word deduce here means that we need to use the part just previously before so in part 5 we, had, we have determined the value of I2 which is equal to 0 0.16 amperes and we know that the value of the main current is given by 0 0.2, 0 0.2 amperes then using law of addition of voltages we can determine the value of the electric current I then apply law of addition of currents because we are adding currents Then how do we apply this law? Always on the left we write uh, the value of the main current which is given by I. And notice that here at the point uh, A, the electric current, the main current splits into two currents I1 and I2. Then I1, I is equal to I1 plus I2. We are interested in calculating the value of I1. So the value of I which is equal to 0 0.2. I1 plus I2. So the value of I2 that we have already calculated is given by 0 0.16. So the type of this equation is a linear equation in one unknown, which is I1. So I1 is equal to 0 0.2 minus 0 0.16, which is equal to 0 0.04. Since 0 0.2 is in the SI and 0 0.16 in the SI, so the value of I1 will be the SI, which is amperes. Then I1 is equal to 0 0.04 amperes and now finally in number seven they are telling me calculate r1 which corresponds for the resistance of the electric component r1 now we know that the applied voltage across r1 is given by 8 volts and th and the traverse current is 0 0.04 amperes then using ohm's law we can calculate the value of r1 Then let's say apply Ohm's law to R1 and this law is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I constructing the triangle of this formula U at the top R and I at the bottom we are interested in calculating the value of R so putting our hand over R R is given by U divided by I so we are calculating the resistance R1 that has an applied voltage AB traversed by the current I1 the voltage is equal to 8 divided by 0 0.04 so plugging this fraction on the calculator will give us 200 since the voltage is in the SI and the current is in the SI so the value of R will be in the SI which is ohms then R1 is equal to 200 ohms. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one.